you guys gonna welcome to Lauren Landa. Hi, Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Yay! All right. So, um, just uh, for people who don't know, please introduce yourself and what you do and why you're so amazing. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Stop it. No, please don't. <laughs> um, I'm Lauren Landa. I'm a voice actress from Los Angeles. I've done voices for various anime and video games. Uh, some titles that you guys might know me from, um, I was Annie Landhart in Attack on Titan, um, the new Sailor Neptune and the Viz Media dub of Sailor Moon. Uh, most recently I was announced as Nao Tomori in the anime Charlotte. You look like an older version of Opie, good sir, in the back. I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, some vanity all the way. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I was also Squiggly in the video game Skullgirls. Uh, most recently, I was announced as Karin Kanzuki in Street Fighter V. Uh, this is where my brain starts to go. Uh, oh, Kyoko Sakura in Madoka Magica. Um, and uh, Light Failing in the Blaze Blue game franchise. Just all around awesomeness. <laughs> I can keep it on going if you want me to. But. No, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll open the floor to questions now. So, questions? Nope. Oh, there you go, right there. Yes. Uh, of all the I'm sorry, please state your name in your media outlet that you represent. Oh, yes, Chris, thank you. Uh, Colin Bingham with the uh, podcast Opinions of the Very. Hi, Colin. Uh, hello there. Thank you for coming. I'm very excited to chat with you. Oh, yeah. um, of you, you've done so many different characters. Is there one in particular that's a role that you're particularly proud of that really stands out? Like, is a, like your favorite character that you play? I always say that it's pretty difficult to pick a favorite character because it's like picking your favorite child, and you never know what that favorite child's gonna do if they find out that you pick another favorite child. That's always really dangerous. This guy is thinking that I'm crazy. Anyway, <laughs> Not at all. Um, I happen to love all the characters that I've played, but. Um, there are, I think, two in particular that are very dear to my heart. Uh, the first being Annie from Attack on Titan because it was my Ooh. first. <laughs> it was my first project with Funimation, and uh, Funimation. I know so many people over there, and I love to work with them, and they are practically like family to me. So uh, that was very special. Again, with it being my first project with them, and uh, also uh, the how I'm able to play Sailor Neptune now in Sailor Moon because I was a huge Sailor Moon fan growing up. Uh, and Sailor Neptune actually became my favorite character when I was a kid. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a full circle now that I'm actually playing her and it's kind of a dream role for me. So she's very near and dear to my heart as well. So I hope that answers your question in some oh, ways. <laughs> oh, question. Uh, yeah, Vlad from the only Comic Con reviews. Hi, Vlad. What's the hardest character you've come to prepare yourself for? Well, usually we don't have a lot of prep time when it comes to these characters because when you're dubbing uh, either video game or anime in English, you really go into the booth, you find out about the character, talk about it for like five, ten minutes, and then boom, you start. Uh, but as far as recording-wise, um, uh, I was in a video game called Dragon Guard 3, and that's a Square Enix game, and it's a beautiful game. Um, the character that I play is actually uh, called One, and I have done a lot of fighting games, a lot of RPGs. I've never screamed so much in a video game. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun, and I'm really happy with how it came out. She was pretty difficult, but she was so much fun to play, so. Right there. Jason Lenovsky, Cosplay MIC Magazine. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Pleasure. Um, I wanted to know, you were talking about screaming just a second ago, how do you prepare your voice for when you're about to start recording in the booth? Uh, either if it's a morning session or an afternoon session, I try to keep the talking to a minimal. I try and rest my vocal cords as much as I can. I also hydrate myself like crazy because that's incredibly important. I also sleep. I have I get a good night's sleep beforehand because sleep is very important in that aspect. Um, unfortunately, there's not too much you can do during the session when you're screaming. I mean, you can drink uh, you know hot water with lemon or hot tea with uh, honey to soothe your vocal cords, but it doesn't doesn't always do the trick, but it helps sometimes. The back. Hi, uh, Leo from Comment TV. Hi, Leo. Hi. So uh, you started acting at a pretty young age. Mm -hmm. um, how? What made you go into this route? Did you just kind of fall into it, or was it something that you always wanted to do? Uh, when I was younger, my father worked for Disney, and he would take me into the booth with him, uh, not for not to see the voice actors per se, but to uh, 
uh, see a man by the name of Jerry Bishop who did a lot of the promos for the Disney Channel a long time ago. Uh, we'll be right back after these messages. And I always thought that was really cool how I would watch the recording process. That was when I was really little. Um, so fast forward to when I got to college, uh, that always stuck with me. And um, I'm sorry, fast forward to middle school first. Got into anime. I was introduced to Sailor Moon, which was the first anime that I ever saw, that I ever watched. So uh, now fast forward to college, where I'm about 17, 18 years old, and I am an anime fan, and I am also an actress and all that, and I take a voice and diction class, and um, uh, the actress who was teaching that class was actually a voice actor as well for anime and video games, and uh, she's, uh, her name is uh, Peggy O'Neill, she is very talented, and she... Uh, hooked me up with a workshop, she basically suggested, hey, you know, you should try and, you know, learn more about this, some, some stuff that I can't offer to teach you. I said, sure, why not? That ended up uh, me meeting Tony Oliver, who is a well-known voice actor, producer, director, who uh, you guys might know him as Rick Hunter from Robotech. He's done a lot of other stuff, uh, but my mind goes blank whenever I list Robotech, because that's what you need to know. <laughs> um, and so he, uh, I got into the booth for him, read a couple lines throughout his class, and uh, he, I guess, liked what I could do, so he decided for me to audition for him uh, for a show that was gonna be uh, produced over at Bank Zoom Entertainment. And then three months later, I was cast in my first, uh, my first anime show, which was a magical girl, lyrical, not a path. That is not easy to say five times fast, I try. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, one, one or two more questions. Uh, you right there. CJ Maffris at TenomiFaithful.com. Hi, CJ. Hello. <laughs> uh, since you said Sailor Moon was your first exposure to anime in uh, middle school, was it? Uh, were you able to see it from Toonami? Was it from a different blog? Was it home media? How were you first exposed to anime? You know, I don't remember if Toonami had started at this point. I think it was in the very, very early stages of Toonami because... I don't know exactly how old Tsunami is, but I think this was very, very early on in those stages. But it was on Cartoon Network, I know that. And it was at 4 p.m. every day, so as soon as I was done with school, I would run home and I would get there just as the theme song was starting, so. <laughs> and uh, one final question. Oh, right there. Uh, and the other CJ in the room from Inspired News. Hello. Having voiced so many fabulous characters, what's your process for kind of dialing in your voice for a new one when you get a new role, you know, making it your own? Well, um, we try to make it our own as much as we can, but still respecting the original Japanese as much as we can. Um, that really depends on what the character design is, honestly, and it also depends on the communication between the actor and the director. Really, I, pref I refer to the director as the captain of the ship, so to speak, because without the director, you don't know what's going on, you don't know what the character is supposed to do, you don't know what their personality is. So it really depends on the director, but really what will happen in a recording session is you'll go in, you'll take a look at the character who you're playing, the director will give you some info about them, their age, personality, body type, because sometimes that can have a great effect on the voice that you give them. Um, and then we read off a couple of lines and we try and find the voice, and if it's too high, then we'll change that. If it's too low, we'll change that. If they sound too young, then we'll change that. If they sound too old, either way. Um, and that's about the first five minutes of the session, and then it takes a little bit to get into character, always on the first session. Um, in fact, most actors, most of the time, I don't want to speak for all actors, but a lot of the time, actors will not like their takes on the first couple episodes because they're still getting to know the character. I know that's me personally, so hopefully that answers your question. Thank you. All right. I'm sorry, we're short on time. Uh, thank you so much for coming, Lauren. Thank you. Uh, where can they expect to see you after this? Okay, so today I have a... Oh, Miss Lillian is going to help me, actually. <laughs> I have a, a panel at 11, and it's called My Two Favorite Sins. My Two Favorite Sins, something like that, from um, the Anime 7 Deadly Sins, which is an awesome show if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's going to be with myself and Erica Mendez. And then later today, I, I don't know what time. You have an autograph session with Keith. Okay. And an autograph session with Keith Silverstein at what time? 
Um, actually, that's at 5.15 to 6.15. And then, and then the Sailor Moon panel? Yep, yeah, that's actually at 2 p.m. Okay. So it'll be your two favorite sins, 11 to 12, in the Salamander Room. Uh, Sailor Moon Afternoon from 2 to 3 in the Phoenix Room. And then Lauren, Erica, and Keith, the autograph sessions, uh, 5.15 to 6.15. This is why I have her. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you in. so much, guys.